as well. What an eventful day. Uh, I recorded a live stream earlier today and uh, it just went all to bloody hell. Uh, day was not, day did not turn out as I had planned. Samsung's website uh, crashed it, it, it burned, which is why you see the thumbnail that I customized for their unpacking event today. Boom. Yes. Samsung uh, website is down. So um, I was going to order the, I was going to start live stream, order the device, you know, I had all this stuff planned out. Well, um, typically how these launches work is, um, is when they do a launch event, right? Scheduled, let's say at 12 PM noon. Um, and it usually lasts for an hour, hour and a half, whatever, blah, you know, they go over all these features, whatever. So typically, uh, 99% of these launches, this is the first one I can remember that was like this in a long, in, I guess ever really. So what they do is when they start the launch event, they'll come up, you know how they do it. The CEO will come up on stage, show the phone. They'll have a department head of uh, um, cameras and sensors come out, talk about the cameras, talk about the display, blah, 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 blah. Well, about halfway through the, their launch, they'll activate the device on their website as available to purchase. Um, so when the live stream or when their launch event ends, they say at the very end, they'll be like, and it's available now to purchase on our website or at carriers. So then once it ends, they'll, the, the viewer will and or potential consumer will then go to their website to order it or whatever, right? So Samsung today uh, did not follow the tradition they actually activated the SKU, the item, which today was in the S24 series, S24, S24 plus S24 Ultra. They actually activated it live. Uh, as soon as the uh, launch event started, you could go buy one on, on their website. Um, so that's what, I mean, kind of screwed up uh, my start of the day. And then um, you go add your, soon I found out, I jump online, I'm like, shoot, I got to get one. Um, you select all your options you want, add it to the cart. And then when you go pay, when you go to your, when you go to the checkout, that's when you get bad gateway. Uh, what is it? Error code like 502 bad gateway over and over and over again it does it whether you're signed into your samsung account or whether you're just trying to check out as a guest it happens whether you're trying to purchase an s24 ultra or you're purchasing an s24 plus or s24 um now i don't know if it's specific to those devices i don't know like what if you go on samsung.com and you try to purchase uh some earbuds right will it crash then I have no idea. I didn't, I didn't check, <clears throat> but <clears throat> it's not good. Um, makes you wonder if, is that a coincidence where they made it live as soon as the launch, as soon as the, their launch, uh, uh, event happened. And then is the crash in the certain instance where they go live to purchase it right away are those tied together we don't know i don't know i don't think we will ever find out i mean look it it's not gone it's not gone forever and trust me uh the samsung developers are probably their heads are about to pop they are under so much pressure i'm sure the ceo of samsung is on the phone and all the corporate people are freaking out right now because as i checked look it's been, they released it at 12 o'clock um, noon, I think like 12.05, within just a few minutes of the launch event starting is when I logged on real quick to check. On launch day, I'll check uh, numerous times, even before the launch event begins. 
because if you wait too long, as you know, if you wait, like, let's say I don't order, because um, at the time before I hit checkout, it said delivery estimated date was January 29th. What day is that? It is... Let's see. That is next Monday. Interesting. Wait, that's not next Monday. That's um, two weeks from now. We'll see. That's not even right. And then it said... So it went from January 29th. You're supposed to get them. You you're you can walk into a store, Samsung store, T-Mobile store, AT&T store, Best Buy, and officially purchase one. You can walk into a store and walk out of the store with an S24 in your hand on January the 26th, which is <clears throat> next Friday, basically uh, nine days from now. Well, at the beginning of the, uh, while adding features and finding out if I want free accessories, it said July 29th. And I noticed right before I clicked <clears throat> check out, it turned to July 31st, which would be the whole following week. So as you know, if you're too late in ordering these things, like with Apple launches with the iPhone, you can get backed up um for a month right weeks so i tried to jump on order one real quick and then do my live stream well didn't turn out that way so as of now three hours later from when i first noticed it being down it's still down so well actually three and a half hours it's 3 30 p.m where i'm at right now and 3 23 technically and I noticed it was down at about 12.07, 12.09. So roughly just over, probably just over three hours, right? <clears throat> I was trying to get exact time, but who cares? Just over, it's been down for just over three hours. It's still currently down. Now, again, you can get on their website. You can check out vacuums. You can check out refrigerators. You can check out the S24. It's just when you go to, when you go pay for it, that's when it crashes, basically. 